So sorry, I've been a while, been gone a while, but been a little on the busy side, prepping for Sturgis. Uh, today's Thursday, the third, and I take off tomorrow afternoon actually. So I've been, you know, I had my hands full, you know, getting things packed, making sure I've got everything that I need because I'm doing a little bit different this year. So I figured I'd check in with you guys. It's only my second run, but uh, you know, for anybody who's going this year or thinking about maybe going next year in the future, figured I would jump in and share a little bit, uh, like what I'm packing and where I'm going, namely where I'm staying. But because uh, while I'm there, I don't think I'm going to be able to get any videos out to you guys. So here we are, uh, me being me, handy ta tablet, went ahead and made myself a list. So you pretty much take whatever clothes that you need for a week. You know, you're camping. If you haven't camped before, probably not ready for Sturgis, let's be honest. But uh, aside from the clothes, I mean, they do have showers out there. I'm staying at the ship, you know, so they got the, the free showers, which uh, about the equivalent to prison showers to me. Uh, and they've got the premium showers, which you can buy a wristband, prepay for them all. It's like 95 bucks or something like that. Or you can pay as you go, which are 10 bucks a shower, I believe. So I did the prison showers last year. I'm going to do the premium showers this year to see the difference. You know, probably going to lose a little money because I prepaid and I'm not going to shower every day. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I doubt it. So, but aside from that, you know, actually, before I go to my list, we'll go ahead and uh, show you there. Street Glide is all loaded up. That's my tail bag. I don't know the brand on it. I bought it from a relative. But all my clothes and whatnot are in there. I got some camera gear in there. Saddlebags are all full up. Uh, the roadside kits and stuff like that. So, let's see if I can't put you back where I had you. Um, so, in my high side saddlebag, you know, I've got a tire plug kit in case of an emergency. I've got, uh, I got a little portable air compressor that's just going to plug into the cigarette lighter and uh, I've got a couple of rain socks one for the air cleaner one for the, the tea bag uh, I've got a tool roll that I put together uh, if you guys are interested and want to know what I put in there just drop it down in the comments and I'll you know post up while I put into it or do a video on it if you guys want um, but I just I, I made it um, and it's done me well so far um, aside from that I've got little jump box that I bought from a local O'Reilly's I think it was um, comes with a set of cables that just plug in it's a Schumacher brand in fact I actually just used it to help my neighbor jump start his old uh, 89 Softail Springer so works like a champ I've used it on the boat a couple times so that's all charged up ready to rock and roll got uh, a lantern a couple of flashlights uh, generally my light my light of choice uh, is from a company called Olight um, they're rock solid, not that I want to, uh, you know, sell you guys on them. Uh, they don't know me, but, uh, you know, I was watching Professional Monkeys videos and, you know, really liked how they looked and you know, what he was saying about them, so I gave one a whirl and I'll be damned, I'm sold. So, got some flashlights I'm bringing, you know, my brother and his fiance are already out there, um, threw in all of our, he, he trailered his bike out, um, and honestly, with the way the weather's looking this year, probably a, a wise choice um, but he trailered his bike out they took my truck so all of our camp gear is in the back of my truck and he's already there he's already set up and sending me pictures teasing me but aside from that you got your toiletries uh, sunscreen uh, I generally don't use it except for on the ink but if you're fair skinned or tend to burn bring the sunscreen uh, you know better to use it and not get burned rather than just be crispy and miserable so uh, you want some warm clothes, you know, in case it does what it's doing this year. I mean, rainy and cold. Uh, last year it was 105, so didn't spend much time in the warm clothes. Uh, let's see, you got your toiletries. I'm not even going to go through all of that. You guys know what toiletries are. Um, you know, you, all of your regular camping gear, you know, tent, sleeping bag, air mattress. Never used to use an air mattress, but now that I'm pushing 40, um, I swear by them. But uh, got a couple of portable power banks because you know, we're roughing it. We got no power access, so our power is our power banks, except for our bikes or if push comes to shove, I use the truck. But you know, kind of show you what I've got going on in the saddlebags here. 
So same thing on the other side, but I got these handy little uh, uh, saddlebag liner bags. You know, I can just grab the handles and pull the bag out. Tire plug kit, air compressor, which these are my brothers. I'm gonna give them back, but I'll probably get the smaller air compressor because that takes up a lot of real estate. Um, some of my rain gear in there. Got rain gear in the other one along with the tool roll. Um, got some, uh, I, don't, I don't think I did a video on it, but I did get some highway pegs finally. So that should make the trip a little bit uh, more comfortable this year because I was really kind of wanting them last year and I didn't have them. So, but uh, you know, got some decent uh, rain gear out from Cabela's. Uh, it's a frog tog brand. The jacket did really well. I did pick up some of the booties or galoshes or whatever the hell Harley calls them that go over your feet up to about your knee because last year my feet were soaked. That was unpleasant. But you know, I'm going to be out there from Saturday, this coming Saturday the 6th, out until Saturday the 13th, I think it is. Uh, I'm going to spend the night, this tomorrow night, out in Butte at a motel because I'm not hitting the road until about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm not going to make that ride overnight. So say what you want. I'd rather get there in one piece, especially with the rain coming in. Eh, we'll spend the night and hit the road about five, six in the morning. So I should be in at the chip in around the two or three o'clock time frame. So with the the new bars on the bike, the new seat on the bike, you know, I've already got the legend suspension on there. Uh, you know, it, it should be a much more comfortable ride because when I got there last time, my butt was killing me with that stock seat, my, my traps were super sore, but I think that was my fault because you know my dumb ass was riding like this with the shoulders up, and that was that was painful. So it's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, going to be riding in one of the oh, there it is the full face just because you know kind of helps keep that wind out of the ears. I got Bluetooth set up in there, so if I need to make or take a call, I can because I got the whim. You know, I had the music playing through the helmet because I still got the stock Harley radio. Um, but uh, like I said, show up Saturday afternoon, hang out, do some drinking, do some riding. Not simultaneously, mind you. Uh, the drinking will part happen after the riding is done for the day. But uh, hoping to hit up Devil's Tower, probably hit up Rushmore. Uh, there, my, my brother's girl wants to go and check out uh, that, uh, that native monument out there. I can't, Wild Horse, I think it is. Uh, so I want to do a trip through uh, Needles and I also want to do a trip out the Iron Mountain Road. Um, you know, those are the, my two big ones that I want to hit for sure. And we'll see what else we got going on. Uh, probably take a trip out to Alzada, probably take a trip out to Hewlett. And you know, since, you know, Devil's Tower is out near Hewlett, I think it's like nine miles away. Uh, you just check that out. You know, just because last year didn't get any riding in because ass was sore. So this year we're gonna fix that. But uh, you know, looking last year I spent about 300 bucks round trip on fuel. Probably gonna go in probably around that four or five hundred dollar mark, right closer to that 500 because fuel prices are stupid. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. You know, trips already paid for. I'm gonna be hitting up uh, the fairing exchange while I'm out there. They're gonna swap out that inner fairing for a gloss black inner fairing, uh, but I up decided to upgrade to the, the ultra inner fairing so I don't have the little mirror holes. So I prepaid for that, so I still owe the guy some cash when I get there. And then I'm gonna go and check out the dealer tent out at exit 55 at the Black Hills dealership, see Custom Dynamics, have them do the rear taillight delete with the curved license plate mount. I think that's gonna clean up the rear end of the bike pretty well. Now I figured with the fascia lights and the bag lights and that, that third light down below, I got ample lighting in the rear end. I, I can do away with that tail light. And I'll be there and they do free installs, so why not let them do it? You know, I'm fine with it. You know, we'll probably run me from 150 to 200 bucks to, for the part and the install, even though like I said, the install's free. But uh, I think that's about all I have planned for the bike. I'd love to do a new front wheel because I'm only interested in doing the front wheel. Can't see a whole lot of the back one. You know, and then there's some guys that, you know, I can't believe you're not doing both, but you know what? It, we're looking a thousand to $1,300 for a front wheel and tire. And I just don't have it in me to do both at the same time. Eventually, maybe I'll do the rear, but again, 
it's hidden by pipes and bags. I'd less of a priority. The Fat Boy, if I ever do wheels, it'll get both at the same time because both are exposed. So at least I'm realistic that way. Uh, other than that, it's just gonna be a lot of wandering around, checking out downtown, you know, wandering up and down Main Street and LaZelle. I got a, a wristband for the bus. So when I get my drink on downtown, I can hop the bus and scoot on back to the chip. Don't have to worry about getting a ticket because those cops are out hard. They're, they're pulling cops from all over the state, you know, you know, watching out and pulling people over for no good reason, just because they didn't like how you blinked. So, because they just want to make sure everybody's out there is safe. I get it. It's annoying on one hand, but I appreciate it on the other. So make sure your tabs are up, your insurance is up, you know, don't drink and ride because they're looking for you, you know, and even if you're not doing anything wrong, they might still pull you over. So they're just doing their job, cut them a break. Yeah, so that's about all I've got. Like I said, you know, Sturgis 23, staying at the chip, heading out Saturday, coming back Saturday. It's gonna be a hell of a good time. So, you know, the, that last video really took off. You guys have been great. Uh, you know, the, the seat on the, the Fat Boy, you guys were really grooving on that one. That's, you know, for me being, you know, less than a dozen videos in, that one, you know, broke 400 views. I think we're a little over 450 now. I'm ecstatic, so thank you all so much. That, that's been amazing. Um, you know, we're, we're up to about 10 subscribers now. Now, I don't think that's too awful bad in the two months I've been doing this, but uh, you know, uh, we're gonna keep trucking along. I'll try to maybe grab a couple of videos from the camera or from my phone while I'm there. I probably won't upload them while I'm there because you know, somebody's gotta drink the beer and I'm willing to take that bullet, so. But when I get back, I'll do a video on uh, you know how that went, and you know, I did a couple of other things to the street glide. So I'll probably do a quick, like 60 seconds short. Now that I, I can do that, you know the the YouTube gods are letting me do that kind of stuff. So uh, that's about all I got. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. If you would though, uh, you know if you like this or my other videos, uh, do me a flavor and hit that subscribe button. You know. Throw me a like if you like it, you know, or or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Either way, I don't lose any sleep if you give it a thumbs down. So, uh, anyway, hope to see some of you out there. Uh, if you're heading out, ride safe, be careful, and have a good time. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys when I'm back. Y'all take it easy.